hello 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 guys welcome back to your knowledge kit today we are going to see another episode of a scholarship in the previous video we saw the scholarship which is offered in belgium which is called rs scholarship for belgian government now today we are going to see another scholarship which is called Veros scholarship this scholarship is offered also in different universities in belgium now to the browser you go to your your google you type Veros scholarship then you come to the link you choose the first link when you come to this page you scroll scroll down scholarship for master's program so guys this scholarship is for master's program a program for one year or two years depend on the course this scholarship guys is different from other scholarship because without IELTS or TOEFL you can apply for this scholarship if your degree was taught your first degree was taught in English guys you don't have to worry about English certificate we will go through the scholarship details then I will show you how you can proceed with application introduction presenting ICP connect a new viral framework for icps the aims to integrate a global perspective in a systematic way and strengthen partner countries and the network dimension into existing master's program icp connect study programs are accredited international study programs organized at one in more one or more flemish universities the programs focus on subjects aligned with agenda of 2023 and scdg principles i know you know this scholarship will focus on sustainable development goals agenda viral scholarship promotes diversity and is committed to creating an inclusive environment where all qualified applicants regardless of gender disability sexual orientation cultural religious or social economic background feel encouraged to apply so guys don't don't look at your stitches just apply if you are interested in the scholarship now how how can you apply for this scholarship you may ask yourself this stem question can you apply for an an scp connect scholarship candidates that meet the following criteria may apply for the scholarship first nationality and the country of residence candidates must be nationals of one of the 29 eligible countries you will see them down your age must be no higher than 35 for but for initial 
masters which is one year and 45 for advanced masters which is two years professional background experience this requires an experience you will pass through the details to know the required experience this is an orientation for you guys to know what is a required experience scholarship application how should you apply previously hours scholarship candidate may not have previously received a scholarship from the Belgian government to attend a study program so guys this is a requirement that you don't hold any scholarship from Belgian government what are the criteria for eligibility first of all motivation professional experience gender balance regional balance leave no one behind the previous awarded scholarship it means that uh, interested candidates should present a clear motivation with professional goals and references of how you will use this knowledge to achieve the goal of the scholarship this motivation data is very important in applying and scholarship abroad professional experience also there is a relevant experience to this scholarship you read the whole text you will know what is required for the program which you want gender balance this scholarship doesn't uh, separated genders male and female are all encouraged and strongly female candidates are encouraged to apply also this scholarship considered the applicant from different regions so if you are Af from africa asia try your best to apply you don't know how many people who will be taken from your region so it's up to you to make a good motivation to present your level of work experience so no one is left behind the cost of scholarship uh, the cost everything is covered it is a fully founded scholarship now what is the application procedure this is an important step how you can apply for this scholarship first you have to confirm for your eligibility if you are eligible you take a look at the list of masters programs which are represented which are available now learn more about each scholarship each masters if you are interested in a specific one to the go directly to the website then you need more information on the university website apply for admission to the program now what happens next deadline are determined by each program and once you are done for application you will have to send a hard copy of your documents this depend on the program some programs and some universities they don't need these hard copies but others require now we go straight to the pro to the program so guys there is a hundred and eighty for the founded scholarship a number of 180 
available. The available programs for one year master's program, Master of Human Settlement, which is in 11. Deadline is February 1st. Advanced Master in Cultural Anthropology and Development Studies, which is in 11. Advanced Master in Development Evaluation and Management, Anthrop. For two years master, you can see the list here. You find the list for two years. Let's take, for example, International Master of Science in the Rural Development, which is offered at the Ghent University. Guys, all of these masters are in Belgium, not in the other country in Belgium. This master have has a deadline of 21st February. So you have to submit your application before this date. Now what you have to do once you choose this program, you go to you click on inform more information to know it will direct you to the website of the school. Then you read more information about the program. This information will help you guys uh, to know what you will include in your motivation letter and to know your eligibility if you are qualified. Uh, let's go to the program. The program is here. You will read all the details which need to be included in your motivation letter. Here also there is a summary. In the summary you read what is required here. Now what is important now take a look at the admission requirements. You click on here. Once you click they will bring you the details here down admission requirements. Admission subjects to an inquiry into the suitability of the holder of the diploma. So guys, when you read the details here, you will find out that first you have to hold a bachelor of three years program which is related to the program which you are applying what is needed here you read everything here then you compare with your first degree after reading language requirement also can take a look but if your, your first degree was taught in English, guys, don't worry. You just have to present a recommendation from the school which showing that your first degree was taught in English. So now how you go about the application for the application you come here to enroll once you click on enroll they will show you oasis welcome at the Gant University if you are new at the university, you have to create an account. If you have an account already, you just click here. For now, let's use register as new. You come here. Once you come here, they show you where to fill the email and to 
put the code this code here to show if you are not a robot so guys at this level i will stop here and i will show you step by step how you create account and how you fill in the application once you are done with your application you will receive an email showing that your application was received you will be contacted anytime and you have to send your hard copy at a given time so thank you see you next time for the other video where we will be explaining you step by step on how you feel this application so guys consider to subscribe like share and comment if you have any question don't hesitate to reach us at your knowledge kit dot com thank you see you next time